The majority of the projects out here in the field, I would say, is is a little above 50%. It's probably 60% carbon steel. The process with the concrete line pipe, there's a gasket involved, there's some glues involved in the concrete, and also to store this stuff, it has to be, the moisture level has to be kept up, so there's moisture involved in this fitting as well. The definite things that do go wrong is obviously the problems with porosity. Uh, there's moisture and different chemicals in the concrete that come to surface once the pipe is heated. After that would be slag inclusions, a lot of slag in the first pass. We, this process is typically done out here in the field with a small project, which is uh, E6010 basically. And as we know that tends to have a lot, carries a lot of trash with it. Uh, a lot of pinholing, a lot of slag in that initial pass. With this RMD, it has a lot softer arc. Uh, the old constant voltage had a real violent arc. A lot of spatter that would take place. This is just a more fluidly easier to run process that I see with the RMD. We found uh, tremendous improvements in travel speeds uh, versus um, putting in the 6010 route on their concrete line water pipes and, uh, and we could really control the amount of penetration so we didn't have the burn through that they were having with the 6010 burning into the gasket area. So the mechanicals were coming out really great and, uh, and so are the radiographs. We've, we've actually experimented with um, going, switching over to a pulse arc with a simple hit of a switch and able to stay with the wire that we ran the first pass with, which was a hard solid wire. Uh, for the most part, we simply switch over to a 045 dual shield and we fill and cap with the 045 dual shield. If I was comparing stick welding to uh, flux core welding at the parameters that they were running, for example, if they, were, if they were depositing a couple of pounds per hour with their stick electrode process, they had stub loss and, and things of that nature. With wire welding, it's a semi-automatic process, it's a continuous process, and now we're depositing about nine pounds per hour versus two pounds per hour. We see at least being able to do this in one third the time that we were recently doing it with the process we had. On this large bore pipe, you know, of course, the pipe size has a lot to do with it. Um, the smaller bore, we won't see as much of a cut on weld time, but the larger the bore, the more of a drastic time saver we see with this process. Well, I think bottom line, I think what gets it bottom line is the dollar. Uh, the cost savings that involved in this process, that's what it boils down to. But I think the biggest uh, argument for it or the biggest uh, defense of it is just seeing the end product. They can look at the end product to see what a quality weld it would leave on the root pass and on the cap. And then to back that up is the cost savings that's directly passed on to the client because it takes us less time to do the welds that we would normally do in the old way of doing things.